Good evening all. Um, I've had a number of um, direct messages or emails asking about how I get the cells that I get in my pictures, which cells are awesome. Sometimes it's the look we're looking for, sometimes just more of a fluid look is what we're after. But I thought I would go um, and try to create something tonight and show you how I do it. Um, so I've already mixed up all my colors, um, but I'm going to do one more color to show you how I do it. Um, so I'm just going to take some Liquitex Basics, squirting it in. I don't measure anything. If you've seen my videos before, um, I put a splash of water. And I'm sorry, I don't have any clear cups. That would probably help. Um, and a lot of fluid artists, if you watch videos, will tell you um, that it's everything to do with fluid art has to do with the consistency of the paint. So I just put a splash of water in and I try to thin it out. You can see it's still really bumpy, but I'm going to mix it in. And then what all of us use, um, I use a couple different kinds of silicone oil. I shouldn't say all of us, but many of us. This is dimethicone. I get that off of uh, Amazon. I also get uh, use Blaster, either the, the um, purple can or the green can. Um, and I'm just going to put a little squirt in. That's it, one or two. If you use dimethicone, it's thicker. You have to be very careful because... Um, it can get too oily and if the picture if the paints are too oily it will dry very dark so I'm gonna mix that in too and then my favorite if I don't have pouring medium because oftentimes that's super expensive um, I use what many many fluid artists use and that is Floetrol uh, you can get this at Home Depot at Lowe's and now I'm just mixing it in. So all it is um, is paint, water, and some people use distilled water. Um, that's an option. Um, sometimes if I have distilled water, I'll use that. Otherwise, I use filtered water from the fridge. So this is just an orange. Um, remember, the, the um, Floetrol is going to lighten your color while you're using it, but as it dries, um, it's gonna deepen the color. So oftentimes, you know, what you think you've got when you're done, it will dry darker. Um, so that's basically, now we're looking for consistency, the consistency of the paint. And you want it to just very smoothly run off whatever you're using to stir. I like to call it um, the consistency of flavored coffee creamer. Um, so that, if I think it's a little too thick, all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of a, a little bit of water. So I'm just going to mix this up really quick. Show you one last time. If it sounds splashy, like literally you're doing this and it's splashy, that's too thin. If it's too watery, you're not going to get the re uh, desired result. And if the paint is too thick, it's going to or potentially will craze, which is where you get cracks as the paint is drying on top and it's still wet on the bottom. Some of the other types of paint I use, um, I love golden fluid acrylics. Um, they're pricey, but if you just use, let's say, one color of golden in a picture, um, I love to use, um, this is Aztec, um, and you can get, uh, I get this at Michael's, uh, you can also get, in the model car area, you can get the same kind of stuff uh, at, at uh, Hobby Lobby. I use Pearl X Powdered Pigments. And I also use Lumiere um, paints by Jacquard, and they're just yummy and beautiful. Um, the other thing I use is just regular inks. 
they're not even ac they're not uh, acrylic inks they're just regular um, regular inks for calligraphy um, and honestly just any kind of paint that I can find um, so I've got all my colors mixed up my favorite thing to do is use these little like Dixie cups the plastic ones um, and I do a dirty pour in the cups um, sometimes I will use all the same colors uh, in the same order and other times I will change up and do a different order in some um, so that you get you know kind of different streaks of color so literally and I don't like you'll notice I'm kind of splashing some of the paint onto the canvas doesn't bother me because I'm going to end up covering it with paint anyway the other thing is I let my paint sit if I don't use all my paint I just cover it up this blue I've been using for probably two weeks and I'll just cover it up and then if I need to make more um, I might just add some more Floetrol and the other thing is I've added different blues um, so this actual blue that I'm using I can't even tell you what color it is what actual because it's a mixture of different blues as I run low um, I'll just add whatever blue I have to it this is that beautiful golden um, and I put some Pearl X um, white pigment powder in it to make it really shimmery so just keep keep rolling and again the whole point of this kind of exercise is we're trying to get or show you how to get some cool cells the other thing is sometimes I use more of a color in a cup and sometimes I don't there to me, when you try to get too perfect or really be too specific, um, it takes the fun out of it. What's fun to me is you just don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, this blue also, I had um, a couple of different blues really close to this same color. So I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out. The last thing I have is... <clears throat> A mix that is Floetrol and glitter it's a green um, I love using glitter sometimes I put it in before sometimes I put it in the cup with uh, I, I'm sorry um, sometimes I put it in the cup before like this and sometimes I actually put it on after so I will take it and with a with a some kind of a spoon or a knife I'll actually kind of uh, draw it on it just really depends on how I'm feeling. So tonight for this exercise, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna go ahead and put it in there. So now, again, you never wanna stir because that will create a muddy look. You're just gonna just twist a little bit. You just wanna get those paints kind of at least commingling, but you don't wanna stir. There's no rhyme or reason. Again, don't stress about it. Um, I've been doing fluid art now for probably the better part of, let's see, almost three years, um, and I'm still learning, right? Um, now I take my cups and I just do a flip cup, but I'm still learning. Every time I do a picture, there's something new that I learn, um, that I wish I would have done something different or some technique that I've tried that I like and I'll definitely do again. So here what I do is I kind of go opposite of the cups that are on the other side. Um, if you've ever seen anybody do the swipe technique where you take like a, a cake, um, what do you call it, a, the cake tool um, like a spreader and you kind of whip it across the paints and you get cells. This is like that, right? What we're doing is we're moving the paint very rapidly and the reaction oftentimes creates really, really nice cells. 
Um, if you look over here, you can already see kind of the cells forming. And then this one. So our hope, right, is that um, we're going to get the same cell action as we're as we're going to move these cups. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to kind of almost throw the paint this way. And let's see kind of what we get. And you can see the cells coming out. Okay, and now we're going to take this cup and I'm going to come back this way. And then the next cup, kind of same thing, right? Now, every once in a while somebody busts me out and says, eh, you're wasting a lot of paint. If you're somebody who, and I'm, and I, it, hey, to each his own, right? But if you're somebody who is really concerned about um, how much paint you're using, fluid art's probably not for you, right? Because you do use a lot of paint. And part of it is because, and you'll see in a little bit, I'm gonna wanna come back and get the flow over the sides. So you can't help but to, to uh, waste paint. So now, again, I'm gonna come back here, boom. Also, you'll notice I'm wearing a, an apron, little puppy prints, we have quite a few dogs. Um, but you're gonna wanna, in this technique, you're gonna wanna use something to cover up because as you're throwing the paint, sometimes I get a little exuberant and uh, I, I end up throwing paint on me. So that, it's always good to cover up. Same thing here, same thing here, here. So you can see now how the cells are just popping out. Okay, my husband's doing a good job here. So now we're pretty much out of space and I don't wanna disturb this. I've got some good cells happening here. 